Vitamin E plays critical roles in immune function, cell signaling, and fighting oxidative stress. Sadly, according to data from the Nurses Health Study, 89% of Americans don't get enough of this essential vitamin. It might seem like supplementing with vitamin E is a good way to address this problem, and many people do this. Unfortunately, recent studies have shown that the form of vitamin E that is found in most supplements and multivitamins, called alpha-tocopherol, not only doesn't help, but it may also increase the risk of cancer and heart disease. The good news is that there is another form of vitamin E we can supplement with that doesn't have the downsides of alpha-tocopherol and has even more potent health benefits. In this video, I'll explain how to optimize your vitamin E intake so you can get all of the benefits without any risks. Ready? Let's dive in. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Kresser with another Tuesday tip video for you. 86% of Americans take either a multivitamin or another type of supplement, and many of these products contain alpha-tocopherol, the best known form of vitamin E. This is a huge problem because recent studies suggest that long-term supplementation with alpha-tocopherol is associated with significant risks. For example, a systemic review of randomized controlled trials published in JAMA Internal Medicine found that supplementing with the alpha-tocopherol form of vitamin E increased the risk of death from all causes. More recently, the American Heart Association published a scientific statement suggesting that long-term supplementation with alpha-tocopherol can increase the risk of prostate cancer and heart failure. This is a sad irony because most people take vitamin E specifically to prevent heart disease and cancer. Given that most people are deficient in vitamin E and that alpha-tocopherol supplements are potentially dangerous, what options do we have for increasing our vitamin E status? The first is to eat more in your diet. The top food sources of vitamin E are nuts and seeds, like almonds and pumpkin seeds, avocados, spinach, squash, kiwi fruit, olive oil, and fish like trout and shrimp. If you regularly eat these foods on a daily basis, it's possible that you can meet your vitamin E needs from food alone. But as I mentioned in the introduction, 89% of Americans are falling short on their intake of vitamin E from diet, so it's pretty clear that diet on its own isn't a viable solution for most people. Fortunately, there is another option for optimizing vitamin E levels, tocotrienols. Tocotrienols are a newly discovered form of vitamin E that have far more potent health benefits and do not carry any of the long-term risks of tocopherols. Even though we often speak of vitamin E as a single compound, we now know that it's a family of eight separate but related molecules. There are four tocopherols, alpha, beta, delta, and gamma, and four tocotrienols, alpha, beta, delta, and gamma. Until very recently, all of the research performed on vitamin E was on the tocopherol form. Tocotrienols were partially discovered in the 1960s, but at the time, researchers still believed there were simply different types of tocopherols. It wasn't until about 20 years ago, in the early 2000s, that scientists identified tocotrienols as a completely distinct form of vitamin E with different properties than tocopherols. The molecular structure of tocotrienols is different than tocopherols. They have shorter tails and heads and don't anchor deeply into the cell membrane. These differences allow tocotrienols to more easily enter cells and intercept free radicals, which explains why tocotrienols are 40 to 50 times more potent than tocopherols as antioxidants. Since tocotrienols were only distinguished from tocopherols about 20 years ago, we are still learning about their unique functions and effects. But there's already a large body of evidence showing that they have remarkably potent and diverse impacts on human health. Here are just a few examples. Tocotrienols have a wide range of benefits on metabolic function. They reduce blood sugar, triglycerides, blood pressure, and the accumulation of fat in the liver and abdominal area. They also improve insulin sensitivity and may assist with weight loss. Tocotrienols also have multiple effects on cardiovascular function and lipid metabolism. They reduce the activity of the HMG-CoA reductase enzyme, which is also targeted by statin drugs. Tocotrienols have a more gentle effect on this enzyme, however, so they don't typically cause the side effects that are associated with statins. Studies have shown that tocotrienols reduce LDL particle number, LDL cholesterol, and triglycerides. 
They also reduce the oxidation of LDL particles and inhibit their adhesion to artery walls. On the other hand, alpha-tocopherol actually oxidizes LDL, which may in part explain why supplemental tocopherols are associated with an increased risk of heart disease. Tocotrienols reduce inflammatory cytokines associated with cardiovascular disease and their gene expression, including tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukins 2, 4, 6, and 8. Tocotrienols have been shown to promote healthy brain function, reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, maintain healthy bones, and support healthy immune function and protect against cancer. For more on these benefits, check out my article, Tocotrienols, a more potent and safe form of vitamin E. So how do you get these remarkable benefits of tocotrienols? Unlike other essential nutrients like vitamin A and vitamin C, and even vitamin E tocopherols, there is no significant source of vitamin E tocotrienols in the diet. Palm oil and rice do contain some delta and gamma tocotrienol, but not at high enough doses to be therapeutic. And these foods also contain tocopherols, which can cancel out the benefits of tocotrienols. This means that in order to get the considerable benefit of tocotrienols, we need to take them as a supplement. Delta and gamma tocotrienols are the most potent form, and annatto is the only known plant that contains 100% delta and gamma tocotrienol with no other forms of tocotrienols and no tocopherols. It's also important to ensure that you're not taking more than 30 milligrams per day of tocopherols in other supplements. Most multivitamins and, and vitamin E supplements contain tocopherols rather than tocotrienols, so check the labels of your current products. The table on the slide shows the recommended dosages of tocotrienol for various uses based on the current published clinical evidence. Here's what to look for in a tocotrienol supplement. It should contain 100% delta and gamma tocotrienol, since those are the most potent forms of tocotrienols. It should be sourced from the annatto plant, since that is the only known plant that contains 100% delta and gamma tocotrienol. It should contain no tocopherols, since tocopherols can interfere with the functions and benefits of tocotrienols. Watch out for this because many tocotrienol supplements on the market do also contain tocopherols. And you also want to be sure that the supplement contains a high enough dose to be therapeutic. A lot of products have maybe 50 to 100 milligrams of tocotrienols per serving, which is definitely helpful, but not in the full therapeutic range. In addition to the article I shared above, I also have a podcast with Dr. Barry Tan, who discovered that the annatto plant is the only source of 100% delta and gamma tocotrienol. He is a pioneer in this field, and it was a fascinating episode, so make sure to give that a listen if you're interested, and we also provide a full transcript on my website. Tocotrienols are one of the most exciting nutritional compounds that I've come across in my 15-year career, and they've become an essential part of my daily routine, as well as a powerful tool in my clinical practice. I hope you'll see as many benefits from them as my patients and I have. And if you're looking for a great option for a tocotrienol supplement that meets all of the criteria I just outlined, check out Adapt Naturals, my supplement line. Okay, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button in the lower right and tap the notification bell so you'll be updated when I release new content. And if you know someone that might benefit from this, please share it with them by clicking the share button right underneath the video. And finally, just a reminder to check out the description section for links to the articles and studies that I mentioned in the video. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.